All right, hi, my name is Katie Gonzalez. I'm from Collins Health, and I'm gonna be talking about my Quest internship for the spring semester of 2019. So this semester, I worked at Holston Central Campus. My mentor was Dave Carr, who's the high school pastor there. And basically what my main focus is this semester was enhancing the lobby experience, um, retention of first time guests that would come in each week, and also event coordinating and planning. And um, my role was just being that high school ministry intern, which is what I did last semester as well. So an overview of this semester, this semester I completed 92 hours, and I worked on reinventing the lobby experience, converting what we had before last semester, and changing it into a more like close-knit environment. I also worked on enhancing our first-time guest experience, so the people that come into our ministry for the first time, what they get, what they receive, but also how they feel, whether they feel welcomed or not, um, and how we can get them assimilated into the ministry itself. And also planning weekly dinner for our students, something that we started this semester was providing dinner for all of our students because our events take place from 7 to 9 on a Tuesday night. Um, just finding a way to get more kids there, but also make them feel welcome in the fall. So my day-to-day -day duties, um, I went to my placement on Tuesdays from 2.30 to 6.30, and then Wednesdays from 2.30 to 3.30. And so on Tuesdays, my main role was setting up events, um, getting the dinner ready for that night, working with first-time guests and other volunteers. And then on Wednesdays, was, it was kind of like a debrief of what had happened the night before, seeing how we can improve, um, things that went right, wrong, things that were missing, things that were confusing and also planning out what our long-term goals are. Um, certain big, big events that we have, like summer kickoff for the end of the school year, senior graduation, stuff like that. Um, and those were our production meetings that we held once a week. So effect on my future. So long-term versus short-term. So long-term was that I was offered a summer position this summer um, to intern as the high school ministry intern, but also oversee some of the other interns. Um, and work with them as well. And then short term, uh, I gained a lot more responsibility. Something that was a little unorthodox this semester was that my mentor wasn't there the whole time. Um, he was on part-time staff for the first half of the semester. He wasn't fully hired as the high school pastor. And then this second half of the semester, he's been in and out due to some family emergencies. Um, and so I was able to have a lot more responsibility, take a lot more ownership with my role hiring outlook. So something that I talked a little bit about last semester, which is also the same, is that ministry is constantly changing in terms of what they're looking for and who they need. Um, you can find jobs all over the states. There's a need for people everywhere. But another thing is that it takes a lot of flexibility and patience. There are lots of levels of interviews that are required in a job and role in ministry. Um, you start kind of at the lower level of just interviewing with the people that you'll be working with and you work up to higher level management of the church and corporation, and career potential. Some pros are that they're constantly in need of new people, and the people are always willing to connect with you and get to know you. Um, that's like a pro because you're able to make connections and will lead to new experiences. Some cons are that most roles only last two years. Um, an example of this is that my mentor and her boss last year had been there for two years, and then they both transitioned out. And so the person that came into the role that they're in now, uh, who knows how long they'll be here, but it's just like a con is that people are constantly changing. Um, and with a constantly changing staff, there's also a constantly changing mission and vision. So you're kind of going after different things, um, which could be a con. Okay, so my most memorable experience was in late March when I got to go out with uh, the team and we got to just talk about uh, the responsibilities I would hold for the rest of the, rest of the semester because I had been there all year. It was something that I got to do um, and I got to uh, I got to put in my opinion and I, they just valued it and that's what I appreciated most. My biggest takeaway for this semester is that no matter the authority in place or responsibility you're given, that there's always more that you can do. So with my mentor being out for a lot of this semester, um, I was given that responsibility, but I was also like not limited to what I was able to do. There was always more that I could do, more that I was able to help contribute to our team. And my personal learning and growth. So this semester I learned that there's a lot of self-discipline involved in planning and executing big events. Um, a big thing is staying on top of your schedule, um, your time of what you, how long you have to plan an event. And also that 
when a schedule is set, when an authority still isn't in place, like when my mentor wasn't there, things could still get done and there's still things that I could do. So thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed. Yes. I have a question. Yeah. What is the lobby experience? The lobby experience is like um, when you walk into the church, just the general area, like the check-in, that experience of like, is someone there to greet you? Is someone there to say hello? Um, is there, are there people that you know are, are students welcoming? Or does it seem like it's a place that's like, you don't want to come back because nobody talked to you like that? So, yeah, thank you. Cool. All right.